What's up, Zibs? Beautiful day in Ohio. Today I'm going to show you how to use a tow dolly. In specific, this 2019 steel tow dolly goes for um, pretty much any steel tow dolly and any tow dolly in general. Uh, tow dolly, what's the purpose? Tow a car without having a trailer. Positives, very easy to use. Negatives, you can't tow a four wheel drive or an all wheel drive, but you can tow any SUV like that one right there as long as it's front wheel drive. I'm towing a Pontiac Vibe, so front wheel drive. So let's get into it. All right, first step is to actually hook the tow dolly up. I have this hitch that drops down. The uh, reason why it drops down is to keep this tow dolly a little flat so it's not hitting on the, uh, it's not scraping any curbs. And next thing you want to do is install, put the coupler in to the two inch ball, lock it in place, pick it up, make sure it's not going anywhere. Install both safety chains and wiring for your lights. Simple, next step. Next, before you load the car, make sure you inflate both tires to 50 to 60 PSI. And when the tow dolly is unloaded like it is right now, make sure you lower your PSI to 15 or 10. Why? Because these don't have suspension. So if, you, if I wrote, wrote it right now with 50 PSI, it's gonna be bouncing like crazy. So the low tire pressure acts like a damper and helps you avoid any damage. Next step, very simple, but very critical. Unlock the tow dolly. Every steel tow dolly has this mechanism right here. Remove the cotter pin, twist it, move it, move it. What, what did we just do? Now this is free to get to the ground and you can drive the car on. Next step. Next step is you want to align the car's tires so that when they come up onto here and they stop on this bump stop, both tires are in the middle of both tire wells. Okay, so I've got the tires. I'm looking at it. Have somebody spot you if you're, um, if you have somebody else and you don't have to leave the car, make sure that is like that. What I do is I put two pieces of two by four right there to eliminate any uh, damage to the bottom of the bump. Next step is very important. Both tires are in the middle. Check that check that you're good to go this is critical do not forget before you do anything before you strap anything down you must lock this back up put it in lock it in put the pin back lock it you must do that if you do not while you're driving that will raise and it'll cause uh damage make sure you lock that very simple next are the safety chains super important one on each side most cars have control arms that will have holes that you can connect to, as you can see right there. And this is in case uh, anything goes bad, your ratchets don't rat, your don't tighten or something, this will be a last uh, ditch effort to save the car from rolling off. So very important, find yourself a couple holes, latch them on, you're good to go. Next step is probably the hardest, um, and it, it, it becomes a lot easier with practice but I've laid it out here. This is how you're gonna strap the tire down. I've laid it out here so you can see, you can imagine that this is that tire and it's gonna look like this. So you've got this brace on top. This is gonna go on the outside of the tire. This is gonna go on the inside of the tire. And you want this hook, if you have something that looks like this, facing this way. That way you can hook this onto right here. That. that's eventually what it's going to look like and then the end here this will end up right here and you will loop this through the ratchet system and tighten it down and i'll show you what it looks like when i'm done okay as you can see it's installed on the tire that's on top this is snug around the tire so is the other side the J hooks connected in the center of the wheel come around here it's in through the loop down here you've put it in through you're gonna use your right hand left hand whatever hand you need tighten it I mean pull it as, as hard as you can and then use the wrench that is provided and just tighten it Tighten, tighten, tighten until this has no slack, that has no slack, and that's good. Repeat on the other side and you're good to go. All right, now that you're all strapped up, 
you want to make sure these are as tight as possible on both ends then you simply want to come in here pull the seat belt all the way until there's no slack wrap it around the steering wheel and hook it in and then pull your seat back so that there's some tension here so that this uh, steering wheel doesn't go left or right now you don't have to do that but it's just an extra safety precaution then the last step is you want to make a lap with the truck around the parking lot once or twice these will i already did so these will come a little undone and you simply tighten them up again and you're good for the rest of the uh, trip and that's how you use a steel tow dolly and as far as far as the last bit of miscellaneous information you obviously want to drive very safe keep a distance between you and the car ahead of you keep in mind you're towing a vehicle behind you um, always check your mirrors make sure it's very hard to stay in lane with this it, it swerves left and right so make sure both hands on the, are on the wheel and you're not videotaping and driving at the same time um, if you're on the highway keep it 60 miles an hour or under just according to the again manufacturer specifications keep it 60 or under you can go 65 but just keep it 60 and under drive safe and uh haul away that's all i can tell you all right now here is how to remove the car off the tow dolly basically everything in reverse but i did want to point out it's very very important that the first step is not to loosen these is to loosen that you cannot forget very simply loosen that take out the pin and then the next step after that is to remove the chains you must remember that if you loosen these up the, the ratchet straps and you loosen that and you try to get the car off and you forget all this you're gonna ruin some shit so that's the first step to removing the next step is to remove the straps now on this particular steel toe dolly it has this ratchet system with the wrench so you're going to take your wrench you're going to go up one level while depressing this right here at the same time and that will give this slack and you'll pull it right off and then you simply pull it all the way off the wheel repeat on the other side then you're going to want to come back inside the car and of course don't forget well you won't forget because you really can't to remove the seat belt start the car roll back very slow you want to roll back until the tire comes right here and when that happens this will fall flat to the ground and then you are absolutely ready to go all the way back and remove the car and like I said, if you're going to tow the dolly back to where, wherever you need to go and it's empty, you need to reduce the tire pressure to 10 to 15 PSI. And that is the final step on how to tow with a steel tow dolly or many tow dollies in general.